Today, we're excited to announce a bold new vision for Gastown, a vision that respects and builds on Gastown's rich history while looking towards the future. It's a vision for a gas town that is people focused, vibrant, prosperous, and fun. And so on that note, I'd like to uh, invite Councillor Sarah Kirby Young to talk about a motion that will be coming to uh, Council next week. Great, thanks Ken. Good morning everybody. Uh, it is a spectacular day to be here, so it feels like the sun is shining down on this announcement. Um, also pleased to be joined here by almost all of our, a big chunk of our council team here. So you can see the enthusiasm in the air today, as well as a lot of the Gastown stakeholders and uh, business owners and residents in the area. So as Mayor Sim mentioned just now, uh, we will be introducing a motion at the upcoming council meeting which aims to create a bold pedestrian focused vision for this historic neighborhood. The motion will address both the immediate and the urgent needs of Gastown while exploring the options to restore and to expand Gastown's public realm, enhancing its potential as a vibrant, people-friendly destination. So what can you expect from the motion? The motion will direct staff to immediately address patching repairs and improvements for Water Street. And if anybody has, uh, I mean, you can see right here to our right, uh, the state of some of the streets are in desperate need of immediate repair. The motion will direct that while avoiding a larger asphalt treatment plan in the immediate future. It will also initiate a public realm planning and design process for Gastown as soon as possible. This aims to bring in uh, listening to feedback that we've received from the Gastown Business Improvement Society and stakeholders an external lens on placemaking that will challenge us to deliver a truly bold and unique plan for this neighborhood that deserves it. So the centerpiece of the vision includes pedestrianizing Water Street, looking at the options to make it either car free or car light on a seasonal or on a year round basis. As we've seen with so many cities around the world, we have the potential to make Gastown truly a destination neighborhood by moving this forward with this more cohesive, bold vision. So under the motion, we'll also be looking to pilot a car-free shutdown of Water Street, either for a month or on weekends in this summer or in 2024, working in partnership with stakeholders and with the Gastown Business Improvement Society. And we're gonna direct staff to look at the longer term potential for changing Cordova Street traffic configuration from a one-way to a two-way flow to better support the potential for a fully pedestrianized Gastown neighborhood. This will include working uh, with our partners at Translake and reaching out to them to address what the related bus infrastructure needs and requirements will be. All of this has the potential to truly transform a neighborhood that, as Mayor Sim said, has been underinvested in for decades. And I want to commend the Gastown Business Improvement Society, who have led this charge for a significant period of time. They undertook a, um, an urban study process that was called Gastown Tomorrow. And I think the spirit of uh, that theme really encapsulates what we're talking about today. And it was called Old Soul and New Spirit. And what we're looking to do here is harness the history of Gastown and unlock the vibrancy and the potential of a neighborhood that people will flock to and enjoy to create an absolute signature in our city. So that's a bit about the journey that has gotten us here. I want to, um, again, uh, thank all of our council team for having the will and the ability to move this forward. It is time. This has been talked about for a number of years. And again, this is about investing in the neighborhood now, but setting that path forward for the future. Well, we wanted to really say thank you to the mayor and to uh, Councillor uh, Sarah Kirby Young for coming here today uh, and being partners with us. Uh, we're very excited about uh, this kind of changing course. Uh, we have spent many, uh, many times in many meetings uh, talking about piecemeal projects in this neighborhood and finally we're going to get to uh, a comprehensive, uh, innovative uh, public realm plan for this neighborhood. Uh, I especially want to say thank uh, Councillor Kirby Young Last year, we worked very hard to ensure that there was money put into the capital plan in the, this current capital plan and in future capital plans so that the work that we're talking about today actually could get done. So without Councillor Kirby Young, uh, we would not be here today. Uh, the other thing I will say is this has been a long time coming. Uh, I've been in this role for a couple years and my focus has been uh, bringing the city back to this neighborhood to see what was left of it. 
Uh, we've used asphalt far too long as a repair technique. It has to stop. Uh, the good news is we've seen over a dozen uh, sidewalk repairs happen here in the last six months. Uh, we worked hard with uh, Hydro to get restoration work done after their project was uh, completed here this uh, past uh, spring and, and summer. Uh, we have light, globe lights that are getting painted, so the, the work is happening and we're excited about that. And I'll just leave you with this. Uh, we like to say that this neighborhood has a layered legacy. Uh, we see this as that next layer to the legacy of this amazing neighborhood. So thank you to the mayor and uh, to the city council. We really appreciate it.